I grew up on the reservation. I'm the youngest of 10. Herding sheep, taking care of horses, um, raising our own crops. I had a very stable home until I was 13 years old. I was taken from my home at the age of 13, sent away. My parents didn't have a choice and I was scared. It was 1956, a time when the U.S. would routinely take Indian children off the reservations, away from their families to government boarding schools. They were required to speak only English and adopt Caucasian traditions. They were trying to educate us to be in the mainstream society. Well, there was nothing wrong with the way we live. Helen felt lost and disconnected without her Navajo culture. Once free of boarding school, she and some friends made their way to San Francisco. And I didn't have no place to go. Those of us that came, we didn't know what to do. There she saw her people struggle with alcoholism, drug abuse, and hopelessness. The group would gather at a church-run social service agency called Friendship House, where Helen got a job as a secretary. And I thought very strongly that our Indian people are going down because of the, you know, the alcohol and drugs that came our way. In 1973, the local Native Americans began running Friendship House themselves. Helen's leadership grew, and over the next 30 years, she took charge, turning it into a top-notch treatment center for addiction. Today, this 80-bed residential facility provides a way back for those who've hit bottom. 92% of the clients are still clean and sober six months later. She credits a unique blend of 12-step programs, Western psychology, and Native American traditions. There's pain in the lives of these people. My drinking just completely escalated out of control, and, and I totaled my car in a DUI accident, and I was just completely broken and felt hopeless. I felt relieved from the moment I walked through these doors, and since then it has changed my life. They're beautiful people. They have love in their hearts and want to do something, give back. At age 22, I was mainlining heroin and became a methamphetamine user. I was living in my car, and uh, that's when I gave Helen the call. I mean, they can be whatever they want to be, but they lost their ways. That's all that happened was they lost their ways. And today, I'm, I'm the clinical director uh, of Friendship House. In 2001, Helen opened a residential treatment lodge in Oakland to give Native American mothers a second chance at parenting, many having lost their children to the courts. Being here has changed my point of view a whole lot, and it has helped me deal with my addiction. They're, they're my people, and I love them. And I know we're intelligent, we're smart, we can tackle the world, you know. But there's a problem that we have to deal with, and that's addiction. She remembers the pain of separation from her own family and is determined to keep these young families together. Those babies now have their mom, you know. What else would I want to do with my life? Family is important to us. We cannot neglect our children. You always lend a hand to your people. You lend a hand to your people because one day you're going to need help.